ಶ್ರೀಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಗುರವೇ ಸರ್ವಲೋಕಾಂಭಿಜೇವರೋಗಿಣ ನಿಧೇ ಸರ್ವಿದ್ಯಾಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ವಕ್ರತುಂಡ ಮಹಾಕಾಯ ಸೂರ್ಯಕೋಟಿ ಸಮಪ್ರಭ ನಿರ್ವಿಘ್ನ ಗುರು ಮೇ ದೇವಸ್ಸ ಗಜಾನನ ಭೂತಗಣಾಧಿಸೇವಿ ಗಪಿತ್ತಜಂಭೋಪಲಸಾರ ಭಕ್ಷಿತ ಉಮಾಸುತ ಶೋಕವಿನಾಶಕಾರಣ ನಮಿ ವಿಘ್ನೇಶ್ವರ ಪಾದಪಂಕಜ ಶುಕ್ಲಾಂಭರಧರ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಶಶಿಪರ್ಣ ಚತುರ್ಭುಜ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನವದನ ಧ್ಯಾಸಿಘ್ನೋಪಚಾಂಧೇ ವ್ಯಾಸ ವಶಿಷ್ಠನಪ್ತಾರ ಶಕ್ತೈ ಪೌತ್ರಮಕಲ್ಮಜ ಪರಾಶರಾತ್ಮಜ ವಂದೇ ಜಗದಾತ ದಪೋನಿಧಿ ವ್ಯಾಸಾ ವಿಷ್ಣು ವ್ಯಾಸೂಪಾ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇ ನಮೋ ವೈ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿಧೇ ವಾಸಿಷ್ಠಾ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ್ಯ ನರಂ ಚರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀ ಸರಸ್ವತೀಂ ಚೋಜಯಮಧೀರ last time we were looking at birth of gandhari's sons and what happened to pandu and kunti when they went on a trip when they went on a break on a holiday right so we real we heard about what happened right so just to recap pandu came back from his uh, he went on a conquer he went on a uh, to conquer the world he came back and then he married kunti and madri he spent about 30 days and then he went on into the forest to take some break dhritarashtra was looking after the kingdom dhritarashtra married gandhari and gandhari was pregnant for about 2 years and then she stuck her stomach and from that flesh that came out vyasa divided that into 101 pieces and then put them in the pots and then through that children were born first duryodhana was born when he was born all the bad omens came through right and then vidura suggested that he should be discarded he should be left out of this family but dhritarashtra because of uh, uh love for his son he did not do that he did not listen and dhritarashtra was thinking about the kingdom who is going to be king after him right he was thinking about that and then the other 100 other 99 sons were born and then a daughter was born right the daughter's name was dushyala and dushyala was married to jayadratha here pandu when he went on a went to the forest he was spending time there one day when he went on a hunting trip he killed a deer that deer was a rishi anyone remember what's the rishi's name everybody looking at their notes now anyone remember rishi kindama so kindama was in a deer's form and pandu without knowing he killed him right when kindama was with a female deer he killed him and rishi curses him that whenever pandu gets closer to women he will die so with that with that guilt pandu renounces his kingdom he informs dhritarashtra bhishma and everyone that he is going to forest with him kunti and madri will also go and then they go to many places many mountains they cross and then they go and settle in a mountain place called what it is called shatashringa the mountain with 100 peaks okay shatashringa they go and settle there there pandu becomes favorite of all the rishis and everyone in that place and then what pandu does is all the rishis one day they were about to head to brahmaloka to see brahma because all there was a huge gathering and everybody was going there but pandu realizes that he can't go why he can't go 
Because he doesn't have a son. Very good. Yeah. So those who don't have children, they cannot go. So then Pandu asks one of the rishis, like he was born through a rishi, asks one of the rishis that to bless him with children. But the rishi says, you need to think. If you think about this, then you will achieve. Okay. If you set your uh, objectives, if you say that you are going to do something, then you will achieve. Then Pandu, once he does that, he thinks about what to do. He calls, he remembers his <coughs> curse on Kindama. That's why he can't have children with his wife. Because the moment he uh, goes close to his wives, he will die. Okay. So he thinks about that. So that's why he calls Kunti. Okay. And then he says that son is the important thing for a man. Okay. So there is nothing that could a man can achieve. Okay. Which is not great. Okay. Whether it is sacrifice or gifts, charity, whatever he does, penance, whatever he does, nothing is more great than having a son. Okay. So that's why I need son. And he says that there are 12 ways of one having a son. Okay. Having a children. There are 12 ways of having a children. Out of them, six are considered their heirs. Okay. The other six are not heirs, but they are kinsmen. They are just children, but they don't have rights to your property or your wealth or your whatever you own. Say, for example, Pandu, has, Pandu is the king. They will not become the king. The other, the last six types of children. So he says, what are those 12 types of children one could have? Again, they are in the order of merit. Okay. The first one is the son born to the once wedded wife. Okay. To the married wife, the son born, children born, they are the best. The second one is the son born through someone's kindness, okay, like a rishi's blessing or something, son is born. The third one is son born through someone else, but by giving, not through kindness, but giving somebody some wealth or something they give them. So through that, son is born. Fourth one is again uh, born after son's uh, husband's death, but that's again through someone's blessings or some other method. And the fifth one is before marriage if the son is born before marriage that's the fifth one okay and the sixth one is son is born to an unchaste wife that means wife is not uh, of good character okay son is born through some other men okay so all these six are legally okay they are they can they are the uh, they are the children plus also they have the rights okay the next six which is son given to the somebody or son who is acquired through adoption or something like that or the son received through a pregnant bride okay if you marry someone and the bride is already pregnant or son uh, brother's son or son born through a wife of a lower order lower order or lower caste so for example for brahmana a Kshatriya wife's son or for a Brahmana, Shudra wife's son, all these are not considered rights. Okay. So the Pandu explains 12 ways and he says to Kunti that one should always try to have the children in that particular order. Okay. For their own advancement of their to the next world. So the first one is you should always try to have children through your wife. If you can't, then through a rishi's kindness. If not through another monetary means and things like that. So you should go in that order. You can't simply directly go to 11th place or 12th option or whatever it is. Okay. You should try one after another. And that's the only way you can have. Then he tells Kunti that go and find someone who has more worthy than me and then have children through their blessings. Okay, so find some Rishi or Brahmana. And with that, Kunti says, Kunti says that she cannot have children because she does not find anybody 
who is superior to pandu okay and she narrates a story she narrates a story of bhadra so she says that there was a king called vishistava sorry which is vishistasva he was in the puru dynasty again kuru everybody came in the puru dynasty he was very devout and he was very virtuous king he did a lot of sacrifices he was pleased to indra and things like that and then but unfortunately that king uh, died okay uh, very early in the age he he married he actually had a wife called bhadra and that bhadra again the both of them were very deeply in love but the king died okay once the king dies the wife started crying she says that woman's life without husband has no value okay it is uh, like dead there is no life after that so that's why she says she can't live okay at that time she hears <coughs> excuse me at that time she hears her dead husband's voice and that says that she, he will give her the children okay and that uh, voice says that asks her to after uh, uh, her to do the prayers and vrata and everything and then she will have children and one day her husband came after death and everything came and they had children so bhadra became pregnant and she had children okay who became the shalvas and madras and all those kingdoms okay kunti says that you also have lot of ascetic merit so you are also like a rishi now because you did so much penance and service you are also like a rishi you have the merits you also bless me like those rishis that king bless me a child then at that time pandu says that <clears throat> women should obey the whatever husband says okay and pandu here gives an example previously women had rights to do whatever they used to do but shweta ketu who is the uh, son of uddalaka rishi uddalaka shweta ketu is also another rishi he stopped his mother leaving so previously once what happened was shweta ketu's mother was at home another brahmana comes and she decides to leave her husband and go okay at that time shweta ketu says women should not leave he makes a rule okay we had similar <coughs> rule making previously right about 3 weeks ago anyone remember there was a rishi what's his name Braspati's brother's son. Okay, I'll let leave you guessing the name. Okay, and he she tied him in and put him in the water in the river. Remember, and he makes the rules that women should never disobey their husband's rules. Here also same thing. Shweta Ketu makes the rules that any woman. disobeying their husband's command will incur the sin of killing an embryo okay killing a child okay they will similarly again the rule here is if a man also okay goes to another woman while the wife is of good character he will also incur the same sin yes raghav is it shukracharya no nope. okay keep guessing <laughs> otherwise you all enjoying too much you need to think now okay so here so shweta ketu makes that rule okay from that time okay all the women has to obey the rules so again pandu gives another example okay uh, there was a wife of shaudasha called madayanti <clears throat> she was blessed by vashishta and she continued her dynasty like that okay just like vyasa gave uh, blessings to continue kuru dynasty you also do it obey my orders and 
seek a great rishi or brahmana and then have children continue your dynasty that's what pandu says you would, you do not give me another option saying that you are a rishi you give me children or any other solution you obey my whatever i am saying okay that's what pandu says at that time kunti explains him everything that happened to her the mantra she knows what mantra she knows yes the mantra that is durvasa gave her that yes what happens if you chant that mantra you get a child yeah so whoever she thinks of okay and chants that mantra she will get a child from them okay she informs that she had this mantra from durvasa and she can summon any devas any deities she wishes and through them she can have through their blessings she can have the children okay at that point pandu suggests that <coughs> okay but kunti does not tell that she previously tried this mantra and had a child through surya okay kunti does not say that so kunti just say that she knows the mantra okay so no one knows that kunti had a son before her marriage so kunti here pandu says that in that case you prayed to dharma yama okay pray to him because pandu gives three reasons why you should invoke dharma first okay because he is the one who's who is the judge he is the judge right so he can't make any wrong decision if pandu and kunti's decisions are wrong he won't come okay he will come and bless only if their decision is right the second thing is if a child born like that from dharma himself who is the who decides whether someone does good or bad if child born because of his blessing then nobody else will say anything okay the world think whatever they have done is the holy thing they don't world people do not say that it's an unholy thing and the third thing is the son born because of dharma's blessing will be virtuous he will be for he will be the best okay because he will have all the characters of dharma himself that's why we want son from him <clears throat> kunti agrees to him and she worships her husband first and then she goes okay <clears throat> so what's happening is this is all happening in the forest pandu is in a forest in a mountain called what's the mountain where they were shatashringa 100 peaks oh okay I'm, i will keep asking let's see who remembers okay so while they were all this gandhari here she was pregnant for two years and she was trying to okay she was full one year pregnant and kunti in the forest invokes dharma okay and dharma comes in front of her and kunti says i need a son and dharma says he she will have a son okay as per her wishes and that son was born in the eighth muhurta abhijit muhurta and they have uh, kartika masa okay and shukla paksha panchami he was born on the jeshta nakshatra okay when all the auspicious signs were there at that time son was born when the son was born there was a sky in the sky there was a voice that said this child will be the best okay he will be foremost and he will be virtuous he will be uh, powerful and also truthful in his speech he will rule the earth he will be the <coughs> known as by the name of yudhishthira okay he will be known by the name as yudhishthira and he will be known for his honesty powers okay he will be the famous king okay in all the three worlds that's what the sky voice in the sky says so that's how kunti gets first son from from whom yama good okay i need to hear from others next time when i ask question okay so after this pandu has first son 
now and then pandu says that for a kshatriya having a good character son is great who becomes the king but he should have power strength okay so pandu ask kunti that we need one more son this time pray vayu the god of wind okay pray him and ask for a son <coughs> and kunti prays him and then she gets a son okay who is later known to be known as bhima and he was of huge strength okay and <coughs> at that time the child say the voice aerial voice sky the voice says that the child will be of huge strength and bhima who is also known as prakodara when he was a little baby he was sleeping on the kunti's lap and at that time a lion came and kunti suddenly because of lion came just moved without realizing that bhima was sleeping on her lap and bhima fell on the floor and when he fell the rocks and everything that was there on the ground smashed into dust okay he had so much power and he was so strong everything the mountain the rocks everything smashed into pieces okay he had so much strength and on the same day as bhima was born in hastinapura gandhari gave to the first son was born from the pot <clears throat> the pot in the ghee and her flesh was kept and that son is duryodhana okay so bhima and duryodhana were born on the same day uh, yes um my grandpa he just told me last time when i was in india he said that duryodhana that wasn't actually his real name the parents gave him a different name about something known as doing good but then they made his name duryodhana because he always does bad i think is another name called suyodhana as well suyodhana uh, yeah. but 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 the name that mahabharata starts with is called duryodhana he was named duryodhana there are there are other puranas padma puranas and other give him even mahabharata later in mahabharata there are other names called given he is known by other names all of these people have multiple names bhima for example vrakodara and other thing arjuna got lot of names okay for example yudhishthira similarly dharmaraja he is called there are different names but duryodhana was the main name that was throughout mahabharata the name used is duryodhana okay thank you no problem okay and then pandu says <clears throat> now he was very happy he has a son what's his first son's name yudhishthira good and then he has one more son bima very good okay so he has two children now and then pandu says that <clears throat> so i need a son who is capable of winning everybody all the men on earth okay and he thinks about which devas he should worship kunti should worship and then the rishis there suggest that worship indra okay they suggest that pandu and kunti for a full year they do the severest meditation and prayers and then after such long time indra appears before pandu and then pandu request for a son and indra says that i will give you a son okay and then kunti invokes that mantra <coughs> and then indra comes in front of him and then he says that i will give you a son that just as you desire who will have a superhuman achievement and great fame okay and he will suppress all the enemies and he will be of great wisdom he will be equal to surya himself sun himself in his splendor and he will be invisible and sorry invincible in the battles okay he will be invincible in all the battles okay and he will also look handsome very extremely handsome such a son you will have okay and when kunti invokes mantra indra gave her the son and that son is called arjuna okay 
and as soon as the child was born again this the voice in the sky said that this son he will have he will be as strong as kartavirya okay kartavirya is the kshatriya who had 1000 arms whom parashurama killed okay so he will have he will like kartavirya and shiva himself in strength and power and he will be like he will be undefeatable you cannot defeat him he will be like indra himself in fame and uh, in, in in battle okay and he will just like vishnu enhanced or made aditi happy okay aditi is kashyapa's wife if you remember <clears throat> and vishnu born vamana roop in vamana form vishnu was born as the last child of aditi okay when vamana was born aditi was very happy just like that this son arjuna will enhance your joy that's what that voice says and then it says he will <clears throat> control or defeat all the kings on earth madras kuru somakas chedi kashi kuru kurusha all the kings on earth he will defeat them and <clears throat> he will give the kandava forest to agni fire god okay he will burn the kandava forest just to please agni himself he will be as strong as parashurama or vishnu he will be like he will in a battle he will please shankara mahadeva himself he will please mahadeva shiva himself and from that he will gain a weapon called pashupata okay and after gaining that and all the celestial weapons he will defeat the thousands and thousands of daityas called nivatakavachas okay nivatakavachas you will hear about them later in, in the pandavas when they are in the forest arjuna goes and defeats them okay so that's what he says that voice and then when kunti was hearing that she sees all the deities devas gandharvas nagas yakshas everybody coming there and praising this son kunti has just gave birth to okay so <coughs> who all came the rishis bharadwaja kashyapa gautama vishwamitra jamadagni vashishta atri marichi angirasa pulastya pula krutu daksha and all the gandharvas apsaras everybody came there okay chanting praise of this arjuna and then the gandharvas tumburu bhimasena ugrasena uryanasu anagha gopati drishta dhritarashta surya varchas yugapa trinapa karishni nandi chitraratha shali shali shira parjanya kali narada virata viraka karala brahmacharin vahaguna suvarna vishwavasu bhumanyu suchandra shama all this and ha ha hu hu all this gandharvas came there and started singing and dancing and then the apsaras okay the ladies of the beautiful ladies of the heaven apsaras anuj anuchana anuvadya gunamukya gunavarna gunavara adrika soma mishrakeshi alambusha marichi suchika vidyutpa vidyutparna tilottama ambika lakshmana kshema devi ramba manorama asita suhu supriya suhu suvapu suvapu pundarika sugandha surasha pramatini kamya sharadvati all this along with menaka sahajanya karnika pani panjik panjik panjikshala ritustala gritachi vishva vishvachi purva purvachitti umoj umlocha pramlocha urvashi all these apsaras came and started dancing okay and then all the adityas came who are the adityas aditi san kashyapa and aditi san 12 adityas okay dhatri aryaman mitra varuna bhaga indra vivaswat pushan tashri parjanya vishnu okay vishnu here is vamana okay all all of them came and then rudras came okay 11 11 rudras 
ಮೃಗವದ್ಯ ಸರ್ಪ ನಿರುತಿ ಅಜೈಕ ಪಾದ ಅಹಿವರ್ಧನ ಪಿನಾಕಿ ದಹನ ಈಶ್ವರ ಕಪಾಲಿನ ಸ್ಥಾನು ಭಗ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ರುದ್ರಸ್ ಕೆಂ ವಸುಸ್ ಅಶ್ವಿನ್ಸ್ ಮರುತಸ್ ವಿಶ್ವದೇವ ಸಾಧ್ಯಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಕೆಂ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿ ನಾಗಸ್ ಸ್ನೇಕ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ಪೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಕೋಟಕ ವಾಸುಕಿ ಕಚ್ಚಪ ಕುಂಡ ತಕ್ಷಕ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ತಾರಕ್ಷ ಅರಿಷ್ಟನೇಮಿ ಗರುಡ ಅಸಿಧ್ವಜ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅರುಣ ಆರುಣಿ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿನತ ಸನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಕೇಮ್ ದ ಅಸೆಂಬಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಸಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸನ್ ಕುಂತಿಯಸ್ ಗೇವ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಟು ಹೋಮ್ ಡಿಡ್ ಶಿ ಗೇವ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಟು ಅರ್ಜುನ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಕುಂತಿ ನೌ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಪಾಂಡು ನೌ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಇದಿಷ್ಟಿರ ಭೀಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಬಟ್ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೋರ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಫುಟ್ಬಾಲ್ ಟೀಮ್ ಓಕೆ ತ್ರೀ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ಫುಟ್ಬಾಲ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫುಟ್ಬಾಲ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಸೊ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಮೋರ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಡಿನೆಸ್ಟಿ ಓಕೆ ಇಫ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ದೆನ್ there is one more if something happens to the two there is one more so i want more children but kunti says that she cannot have more children the reason is she already requested three uh, gods okay deities devas for the children and a woman cannot go to the fourth person if she goes her character is not considered good okay even for blessing she cannot go to another person for that that's why she cannot go <clears throat> so that's where kunti stops having children okay then pandu thinks okay <clears throat> so at the same time here dhritarashtra gandhari they had how many children they had three three dhritarashtra and gandhari 100 102 of course the correct number 1 they had dhritarashtra had one child dhritarashtra and gandhari had 100 sons one daughter but currently it was only one person that was born yeah. it was only yeah. the other yes and then they had another 99 they had another 99 children sons were born and then dushala was born daughter and then yusu was born to a vaishya wife okay so they had total dhritarashtra had total 101 sons one daughter okay by that time <laughs> okay so here kunti had three children at that time madri thinks that she did not have she doesn't have any children okay she also want to have children she goes privately to pandu and says <coughs> i know i am of superior family they have never been anjay can you please stay on mute Anjay, you, have, you, Anjay have... you need to stay on mute, please. Don't unmute. There is a lot of noise. Okay. So, Madri goes to Pandu and says that even though I am born of a superior family, I am here second wife to you and Kunti has three children and I don't have any. I am a bit jealous. i don't like her much but i can't go and ask her a favor so you help me okay kun madri goes to pandu and says this and then pandu agrees to help her he goes to kunti and then says you know she is also a good wife can you help her okay and i need more children because 
as i said earlier more children means it guarantees our ancestor dynasty okay therefore help this madre to have children and then kunti says okay kunti agrees to that and then she agrees to help madre and then ask madre to think of a deity and then madre invokes things of ashwins ashwins are twins okay there are two of them so because them madre gives birth to two children okay they will be of beautiful and energy they will be known as ashwins like ashwins themselves they will be called nakula and sahadeva okay so total pandu has five children yudhishthira bhima arjuna nakula and sahadeva nakula sahadeva born they are twins born of ashwins two ashwins okay so like that they were born and then madri wishes to have more children okay but this time kunti says no i'm not helping you anymore you were very cunning you tried to you are now trying to overtake me in the number of children in one go you had twins so that means if i give you one more chance you will have two more children that means you will have four and i will have only three so kunti says no that's where we are stopping so this is the problem having multiple wives okay so they always argue with each other so pandu everybody settle with five children okay so this is the birth of five pandavas <coughs> so i think we will stop there and see what happens next in the next week's session raga has a question what's the question um so you know when pandu and went and called kunti yeah well how can he do that because um he has the curse from the rishi that if he goes near his wife he yeah he can sp- he can speak from distance like, but he, if he went near he, he can't touch or he can't hug he can't do anything like that oh so, okay so he can speak to them and they live in the same ashram but they can't touch and hug or anything they can't have any physical relationship okay thank you okay any other questions next week i'm going to ask a lot of questions okay i'm prepared any other questions on today's class so we learnt about pandu asking kunti to invoke deities and kunti invokes dharma first yudhishthira was born and then vayu bhimasena was born and then arjuna was born through blessing of indra and through ashwins madri gave birth to nakula and sahadeva okay so we have dhritarashtra having 101 sons and a daughter kunti having five sons okay and we will see what happens next the next week okay thank you see you next week bye sir bye